Hi, and welcome back to Plastic Models by Regular Dude and the Tamiya 148 scale BF109 G6 project part three. Okay, so back for part three and um, quick recap last video part two I got steps one through nine completed everything went well no problems thus far the Quinta studio uh, interior decal set has been working wonderfully mission models paints working like it should everything is going according to plan so the next thing is to start with part 10. So just like uh, the last video, I'm basically going to do some work and uh, kind of do a summary from time to time, unless I run across something that I feel I need to talk about specifically. So uh, I am going to start cutting off some parts and uh, get busy. All right, <clears throat> real quick, like, got the tail done, but here's one thing that I'm going to have to do here um, because of the version that I am doing. So there are a lot of uh, panels and access things on the bottom of this aircraft. And since I'm doing version C, I've got some I have to fill. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to be exact. So normally I would use sprue goo, but I have to say that I've been really disappointed in my sprue goo lately because um, it does the same thing that all the putties I was trying to replace do, and that is shrink. So I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to do something else. I think I'm going to try my Tamiya putty. I'm going to try and thin it out just a little bit with some lacquer thinner and very carefully apply it because I don't want to get any in any of this rivet or panel line detail. So I'm going to have to be very careful in what I do and very careful when I do the cleanup, but uh, I will give it a shot. All right, <clears throat> let's do a quick check in here. So I've been working on all of this stuff here um, up to kind of up to uh, step 19. And here's why I say kind of. So let's zoom in here. So these parts I had done in an earlier video, no problems. The wings on top of the upper wing portions onto the lower wing portions, no problems there. Um, <clears throat> then I got all these parts here for the upper radiator flaps, which I'm doing in the down position. I got those and got those painted up and they look like this. And this, I used RLM02 for that, for the instructions. Oh man, it stuck to my finger. Um, so I got those, got them assembled. I put the uh, wing tips and ailerons in place. Got the lower radiator flaps done. The main flaps I have not done anything with because I am going to be installing those. That's upside down. I'm going to be installing those like this just temporarily. Um, so when I do the Swiss markings with the long stripes and everything, it all matches up. And then I'll pull these off cut the tabs off like the instructions say and add the angled attachment points so they fit in the down position 
which is what I want. So those are taken care of, but they're not, these parts here, the lower, or I mean the uh, front edge, uh, that's not glued in place yet for the reasons just stated. Um, which is that. Now I haven't glued these in place, but I'm getting ready to. But before I do that, I want to do some sanding on these front edges and make sure there's no um, seam lines to deal with or left over for when I get ready to paint. Once I do that, I can actually put the flaps in place and I'll just tape off around the edges where I don't want there to be any paint. Um, the slats, I have sprayed the inside part as well as this part here. And I will be, um, I'll have to kind of put those in place. And since they're horizontal, you know, they're, they're level with the, well, more or less level with the wing, they're not dropped like the flaps. I don't have to worry about angles or anything. So I can just paint that in place. <clears throat> what I'll probably do, <clears throat> excuse me, cut me a really thin strip of masking tape to put in there. I'll glue these in place and then I'll just paint, paint it in place. And I'll do the same on the bottom. I'll put some tape inside of there that way when I paint the markings on the bottom, um, these parts that I painted the RLM 02 uh, will be masked. So that's the plan for those. So once I did all of that, I glued, I did step 19, which was attached the lower wing to the fuselage. Now I have a little bit of seam cleanup to do because I'm not thinking that there is a this weird curved seam here. So I'm gonna have to sand that and rescribe these lines, these panel lines. So shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, it fit together really good. I shouldn't have any filling to do, I don't think. So, uh, but you know, we'll see once I get, start sanding on it. But I'll get that taken care of. All this stuff has been painted in here. I need to do a little bit more RLMO2 inside of these channels here for the landing gear legs and once I do that whoops once I do that um, I'll be pretty much done up till 19 but let me go ahead and start working on some of that stuff and then I'll uh, come back and, and talk some more but another quick thing here is the fit of these wings is phenomenal there is no there's no, I mean, there, there's a, a, a line there, which they're supposed to be, but it is ultra tight. It's not higher or lower than the wing root itself. It just fit together really, really well. So I am really stoked with how this thing's going together so far. So again, let me work on that stuff. Come back. <clears throat> okay, another quick update is I've got all of these parts here ready to go which is parts from 24 and 25 and 26 so just a quick note um, I decided to put this together before I paint it which are <clears throat> parts Where's the number? C3? No, I'm sorry, C4 for the version I'm doing. And then F15 and 16. So that all glues together nicely and is part of that right there. Oh man, that's awesome. So we got that together. So what I'm doing is I'm getting all these parts ready for, um, paint to get them ready to get, get painted up so uh, I've got those I've got a bunch of this other smaller parts landing gear is um, 
off the sprue and cleaned up and ready to go for paint. I've got the Def Model resin wheels that have the weighted spot on the side there. That's right. So next part is I'm going to start on um, step 29, which is the engine cowling parts, or not engine, but the engine parts of the engine mount, the motor mounts, and all that, and the guns. So I am going to get those ready to go. All right, let's take a look at what I've gotten done since the last segment. So I've got the um, engine cowling done, which basically entailed the uh, intake here and these two gun covers here. So that is ready to go. It's ready. It needs to be painted, uh, which brings me to this. I've gotten the uh, landing gear has been painted. Inside of the landing gear doors. The uh, armor plate that goes behind the um, pilot's noggin. That's done. Uh, let's see where. Oh, I got this. I forgot I put it on here. I got this piece here finished, painted inside. This here is supposed to be the RLM 66. This part here, RLM 02. Um, instrument panel in place. And it says to temporarily place this on the aircraft, which I have done, and it fits like a glove. So there's that. Then I got all of this put together, which is the uh, top of the engine, the guns, and the mounts, the engine, the motor mounts. So that's what's been going on so up to this point. So the next part I'm going to work on is step 31, which is the underside cowling, um, underside cowling two, and then see where I go from there because I still have, oh, it's just showing how those parts attach. Uh, yeah, then I have the closed engine cowlings to do and more underside. That's the closed underside cowling. So I've got all those to put together. So I'm going to work on that for a bit and then come back and take a look. With all of the sub assemblies done, the uh, motor mounts, the guns, the uh, top part of the engine, uh, let's see, I got this part here done. So the next thing I need to do is I need to start painting some stuff. Now I've got the um, aircraft all masked off what I want to mask. And I have these parts in place, which are the removable parts, but they fit really well on there. And then I have the uh, open cowling stuff ready to go for paint. The inside's been painted, so now I need to do the outside with the uh, fuselage color, but I need to do primer first. Uh, I've also got the spinner started as far as doing the white and black on that. So really I've got everything done I need to do here in order to start priming. I've got the slats in place and I put a little piece of tape there. For the bottom, what I'll do is once I'm done with everything, then I will, um, I'll tape all this off and respray that with the RLM 02. I've got the gear bay doors all closed up. The flaps I've got taped. Any of the parts that are RLM 02 are masked off, so I won't be getting any paint on that. And I've got the uh, cockpit masked off. 
So everything is ready for primer. So that's what I'm gonna do next, but not on this video. I'm gonna stop this one right here. And uh, next time when I come back, um, we'll get cracking on the primer and then start working on some of the paint. So that is it for part three of the Tamiya 148 scale BF 109 G6 in Swiss markings. So as usual, if you have any questions, comments, hints, tips, concerns, any experience with this kit or anything else, I would appreciate hearing about it. So put it in the comments section down below. So until next time when I come back for step four, thanks for watching and I will see you all later.